We've got our iPhone 7 Plus, and we are going to upgrade it to an iPhone 7 or an iPhone 14 Pro. How do we back it up and restore the data without losing any of the data on the phone? So what we're going to do is use the USB to connect it to our Mac. Let's go ahead and do that now. It's going to ask, do we want to trust the device? We select trust. Put in our passcode. Then we physically plug in the iPhone to the iMac. We can see here on the finder window now on the computer, we see the iPhone. And we have a selection here, trust iPhone. We select trust. And we also want to encrypt it because if you don't encrypt it, you're not going to be able to save everything. You want to save everything. So we want to back up all the data. We already set up a password for this. Uh, we're going to change it because we need to make sure that we still know it. Set the password. That's okay. After we did that, it's asking me to enter my iPhone passcode. We got backups. All these selections here. This is what we're interested in here. We want to back up. Uh, we want to back up everything. And we want to back up now. And it asks for the passcode one more time on the phone. And you can see we have backed it up before uh, when we first uh, thought we were going to get the phone replaced. But then they didn't have it in stock. So we're backing it all up again today so we can restore it today. I mean, we, we can see the little circle up on top that's moving around on the phone. Watch closely here. You'll see the date change. That'll tell you that it has finished with the backup there. There it changed. So now we've backed up the phone completely. And now we're plugging in the i14 Pro. You can see the iPhone shows up there on the left. And here you can show it shows i14 Pro. And we got restore from this backup. The iPhone, go ahead and click continue. Agree to the terms. Then we'll go ahead and click continue. And here we want to go ahead and restore the iPhone. And we do not want to back up the iPhone 14 Pro because it's already at factory default. So this part here was very confusing for me. It's like uh, restore and update to factory defaults. No, I don't want to restore it to factory defaults. I want to restore it from my backup on the Mac. So what I ended up doing is choosing to cancel here. And, and then after that, I had to fumble around until I could go ahead and get it to come back to give me the choice to restore the backup, as you can see here. And then I put in my password, which is already set. And then it kind of works in the background. You can see in the iPhone 14, you can say it's showing uh, restoring on the phone itself. But it's really not very clear how this this uh, It actually is trying to update the iOS. We ended up canceling that and updated the iOS manually later. My final recommendation would be to do a backup and restore to your phone uh, in advance a couple times get used to the actual procedure that you have to follow with your iMac and your iPhone before you upgrading from a earlier phone to the more recent phone. Thanks.